and welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to set up one of these little boards what this is is uh there's a number of it there xh-m609 over discharge protection board and what this does is it provides a cutoff for a battery a power tool battery for example when i use them in power wheels um so they don't over discharge as up close um this is single-handedly the most fiddly piece of technology that i've ever got my hands on um, I find it very fiddly to set up, but I'm going to show you how as best I can. And here we are, it's connected to a power tool battery here as you can see. And the voltage goes on here, plus and minus, and plus and minus out. Voltage in is the same as voltage out. This will only change when the relay stops the power going through to this other side. And you'll know the power's going through because this light activates, so it's, it's an ingenious little board, a very basic little bit of technology. But it's very, very good board. I'm just going to switch the power on to this board here. As you can see, there's a little light, and that just shows you that the power is going on and it's coming back out here again. And that light will only deactivate when the power is not coming out here. So to set up these boards, the first thing you need to do is calibrate to see if it's if it's actually reading the right voltage. This 17.9 that's shown on the screen is the voltage that it's reading. It's going on to it. So we'll check it in the meter. 18 point, you see, 18.05. So a little bit low. To adjust the calibration of the board, you press and hold the first button and then you can adjust. This is plus, and that'll, we'll put it up to 18. And that'll be close enough. And when it stops flashing, let's see. That's the board sitting at a better calibration now. You press that once, you see it's set at 12. That goes back to where it was originally. No? So that's, yeah. So go to 12 and then press twice and that middle dot will flash. Then you can, you're free to adjust it up or down as you please. I'm going to set this to, let's say 16.9 for example. 16.9 and then it'll, it'll return to what it is then what the voltage is yeah so we're 17.9 18 volts and it's going to shut off at 16.9 that's it the next thing you do is press this and you get the flashing dot there it's tricky to get and then you can scroll up and down i put that usually down to 0.1 and that means what that too was is when I switched the board off or the, the board gets disconnected or you take the battery out, that meant that that board wouldn't activate until it was 2 volts higher than the lowest setting that you'd set to, well I'd set to 16.9. So that board wouldn't activate it to 18.9 which would have been no good to us. So the way of this board set up now, it's about 18 volts. It'll cut off at 16.9, um, it'll start up again at 17. You can also set a delay in this board, a delay between the power going in and the power going out, which I accidentally set one time and I couldn't figure it out. And it's set to 5 minutes, it could, <laughs> it'd been sitting 5 minutes before that light would come on. This is, um, unless you've adjusted the delay on this by accident, that wouldn't get aired. Because the delay on these boards come out T uh, will be set at zero. Or unless you need the delay for some reason. For whatever you're using. So that's how I set up the boards for power wheels. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. And check out my channel for all my other videos.